So today we're going to a town called Skagen, or as the locals pronounce it, Skien. Um, now this is a small place. I'm really not even sure why we're actually stopping here. But it could surprise me. There may be a few things here that uh, yeah, I'm, we might quite like. So we know there's a harbour and we know there's a lovely quaint town. So it might be a shopping day. It might be a coffee day. Um, well, let's just see how it goes. What? <laughs> no! I don't know what you call this. A set in. We are getting off the boat in Skagen or Skien. You looking forward to it, Andre? Well, I think this uh, time will actually surprise us. I think we'll be more taken with it than we thought. Okay. Or that you thought. Okay. So, here in Skagen, we're going to have our rooster moment. <laughs> well, today, what's your expectation of the day? My expectations are quite low, and I'm still disappointed. <laughs> <You're> st <laughs> yeah, there's not even, you know, we're not even walking on tarmac. And here is the town. We're heading into the town. There's the Skagen hire bikes. So we're going to head to the the Skagen church. Yeah. The Skagen Church, hidden behind the chestnut trees. Chestnut? Those are chestnut trees. Yeah. Come later in the season, Jay, you'd have got chestnuts there. There's the church, quite attractive. And the time says five past one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, it's very, very oldy worldy, but uh, I like it. And nautical. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I wonder. Yeah. 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 And there's the. The front at the front, very nice, and it has a balcony. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and a lovely organ. Andre has speeded up dramatically. We've got a, a bag shop. I see a Skagen t shirt in there. Look, there's a Skagen sweatshirt. Skagen, Skagen, Skagen. The main shopping street. Oh, and Andrea is. She's in. Grinning is three kilometres and the lighthouse is 2.6. You fancy going to them? And we let the girls on their own. So we're going to try and get to the lighthouse 2.6k, maybe even Grinning, which is 3k. So here we go. Alright, Jay. Let's put the. Pedal to the metal, or the metal to the pedal.
okay? We've no, made it on the other side of the side. Yeah. We've made it as far as this structure, so we'll have a look and see what it is. So this is the White Lighthouse and was built in 1747. But we need to head look at this, number into one, this where the two seas meet. Yeah, so yeah, that's there. that way. Yeah. So we are we're probably here. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh! Oh yeah, very good. Quite a view up here. Very good. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah! Here we go. Here we go. And we're gonna head through the gorse. I think I think we're on the on the direct route. See you? Uh huh. He stopped now. We have just heard the cuckoo. I didn't even think you could get the cuckoo here. Wow. That's a Brucey bonus. We we did hear it. Well, we heard something. Yeah. Okay. What we think we're going up to here now is some sort of war bunker or war defence system. And uh, we may be wrong. But let's see what we get. We're right on the beach now, Jay. Oh yeah. This is something quite interesting. There's a seat. A viewing it's a viewing point. Wow. Look at this, Jay. Look at this. <laughs> this is obviously World War II stuff. I would bet. That's defences. Eh? Isn't that amazing? But built by who? Well, the Danish. Or, or is it built by the Germans? Yeah. Come down onto the beach. And we've got this first bunker. It's bricked up, but it's been knocked in. I don't think we'll go inside. Do you? I don't think we should go inside. But we're right on the beach now. That's great. The on the beach here are what remains of a German coastal battery from the Second World War. This battery was operated by the German Navy, tasked with protecting the harbor in Skagen from attack. The battery was armed with four 12 centimeter coastal guns with a range of 10 kilometers. The guns, which had been borrowed, <laughs> in quotes, from the Danish for armed forces, were ready for action in June of 1940. The lighthouse is now just in front of us. So, this is really good. This was a real surprise. We didn't know this was even here. So, German, German batteries here. Okay, Jay was just saying there that this reminded him of the, the Normandy beaches and the defences that we saw when we did that cru cruise. So let's, let's go in here and explore. It's a fair bit of graffiti here but this looks the best one. I think people come... <laughs> Hold on.
So we have made it to the lighthouse. There's a marking at the bottom, but I'm not sure how high this lighthouse, but it's very significant. I think it and, says 1856. Uh, good spot, Jack. Good spot. 1856. You've got, you have got better eyesight than me. So 1858. Sorry. Yeah. I forgive you, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> So this is Grenon, and this is where the, the two seas meet. So what we're going to do is go up in that hill and get our picture and move on. Yeah. And get back to the to the ladies. They were obviously missing us. Jay, what do you think? Who? <laughs> Andre and Denise. Oh no. <laughs> this is Grenon, the northern tip of Denmark. Such a lot of people here. Quite a few bikes there. So we're gonna follow that party up up the hill and get our picture. Here we go to see where the two seas meet. The boat will actually go past all this. Oh yeah. <laughs> so this, this I'm hoping is the tip. Oh at least this is where the two seas meet. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. There. We're not going to that. No, that's another German bunker. No, no, but they look beyond. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. So. So there it is. There, we can see where the two seas meet. But you didn't save anything. But, no, 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 we didn't. We are and now reunited. Reunited. Rachel. Sent them to Rachel. We learned from the from the tour guide that we listened to up here that Skan is the second most popular tourist destination in all of Denmark. Skan? 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 So it's not Skan. No, it's not. So it's skin. Skin. But as we're trying to get across, is that it's the second, second most popular. popular. We've got the Behind message. What? Copenhagen? Got the message. didn't say. We're, we're assuming it's this, it's Copenhagen. Yeah. <laughs> Heading back to the ship. There's a lot of fishing boats come in here. Big fishing port. There's where we were today. You can see the white lighthouse mm -hmm. and then the grey lighthouse 
and then the beach beyond that where the two seas meet and we'll soon be in the North Sea. Now this is the pilot boat and he's obviously trying to pick up the pilot. There he goes, job done. <laughs>